Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today I have a hair tutorial for you guys and I have a hair how-to. Raise your hand or maybe drop it in the comment section below if you have been so curious about the Beach Waver Curling Iron. I feel like this is one of those products that a lot of us are curious about because it seems pretty awesome but we don't know how to use it. Uh, that has been me. I have been so curious about this curling iron for a couple of years now, and I got my hands on not one, but two. I got two different sizes. I got the one and a quarter inch barrel, and then I got the one inch barrel. And I'm curling my hair with both of them. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but my hair is not the same on both sides. <laughs> I wanted to show you the difference so you could visually see what type of style and what type of curl you get with each of these sizes. And I also walk you through how to use this tool. Even though these are different irons, they have the same technology um, through Beach Waver to just press that button and it spins and gives you the perfect curl. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I created this style, these two styles. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about these two curling irons. And I also have a 20% promo code because I did team up with Beach Waver for this video. They are sponsoring this video and they are giving you guys a 20% off coupon code, like, wow, 20% off. So I will have that in the description box. It is Lisa 20. So um, make sure that if you shop, you head straight to their website, because this code is only going to be um, active on their site, not any other third party retailer. So really, really important. Uh, what else do we need to know real quickly? My hair is just, I washed it last night, so it's pretty clean. I haven't, you know, I don't have a lot of product in it. I actually didn't use any product to style it. I just used the curling iron. So I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started, let's compare these two curling irons so you can understand the differences. Obviously one is larger than the other. We have the 1.25, which is an inch and a quarter. And then we have the one inch curling iron. Um, so first let's look at the one and a quarter inch. This is the Beach Waver S120. Now both of them have the Beach Waver technology which basically allows you to press a button and the curling iron automatically gives you the perfect curl. You're going to get that feature on both curling irons. The difference in um, the two is the Beach Waver S125 has a home button right here which you press this once and it repositions um, the curling iron to the ready position. It also has a switch here on the side which allows you to change the speed of the curl. So so you can have it on fast or you can move it down to slow and it'll just move at a slower pace. It also has a temperature control right here at the bottom. So um, right now it's set to 350 when you turn it on. I'm going to hit the power button once and I'm going to move that up to 410. That's as hot as it gets as 410. So to adjust the temperature, you just press the power button once and then you can adjust up and down. So those are the features of the Beach Waver S1.25. When you look at the Beach Waver B1, you have a one inch curling iron. You still have the same technology where it will you know, turn the curling iron for you at the touch of a button. It's a little bit more simple in design, so it doesn't have the home button. It doesn't have the switch for fast or slow. It does have a temperature control here at the bottom. While you can't get degree specific, you do have a low, medium, and a hot setting, that, like the highest setting, I should say. So I have it on the highest setting right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my hair. Now, before I curl my hair, um, I do run a comb through it just to you know, kind of make it smooth, get out any tangles, as much frizz as I possibly can. Then I'm gonna go and I'm going to separate my hair. I like to curl in sections. So I just grabbed just a big scrunchie. I like to grab a big scrunchie versus a tighter hair tie so that I avoid any like creasing in my hair. And I'm just gonna put most of my hair up so that I'm left with about this much hair down. I'm going to section it and divide it. So regardless of if I were like if I were using the same curling iron, which I normally would, I wouldn't be, you know, styling with two different size curling irons, but I wanted to show you guys the difference in the two. Either way, I would still section it off and kind of divide the hair in half. So let's start on the right side first. On the right side, we're going to be using the one and a quarter inch barrel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take a small little piece, just a little piece, about this much and I am going to press the home button so that the curling iron is in the perfect position. I'm going to place it right here on my hair, leaving a little bit out at the end. This is gonna give it that beachy look. And then I'm going to curl away from my hair. So I'm gonna press the button that allows the curling iron to uh, curl away from my face. You wanna leave it for about three seconds and then just unclamp it and pull it down. What I find nice about the Beach Waver versus like a traditional curling iron 
is it really does make giving you that beachy look very simple because it just gives you that perfect curl. I have gotten pretty comfortable with a curling iron over the last couple years. I wasn't always, I have pretty thick hair and it can be hard to style. Most of my life I always struggled with curling my hair. Um, and I feel like I just got that down over the last maybe three or four years. And this tool has been a tool that I've been so curious about. So when they reached out, I was like, yes, I definitely would love to try this and create a tutorial and show you guys how to use it. I do think that this makes curling your hair and giving you that beachy wave like super easy. So if you are someone like me that struggled with a curling iron, this is definitely the way to go. Now I don't curl, I don't like run through or um, put any product on the curl. I want it to basically just um, cool. So I'll curl all the sections and then I'll let it cool and then I'll go back and run my fingers through it. Just let it sit for one, two, three seconds. Let it go and kind of pull it down. So this is what the curl looks like with the one and a quarter inch on me. I'm gonna go and do the other side with the one inch barrel and I need to lighten that a little bit. Just avoid putting too much in the barrel at one time. Really take your time and do small sections. I like to leave maybe about an inch, maybe a little more than an inch. Oh, now if you do what I just did and press the button on the wrong side, it's very obvious quickly. So you kind of know right away, like, okay, press the other button. You can also curl in different directions if you want a like kind of piecier look. I always like to curl away from my face though. I find that I get the best style when I do that. Okay, so I've curled the first section. I feel like it's a little difficult to see. I can definitely tell that this is a tighter curl for sure, but once I have all of my hair curled, you'll really be able to see the difference between these two sizes. So I'm gonna go on and move to the next section. key is getting small sections. Don't try and rush through it and grab too much. You don't even have to move the curling iron. You just have to press that button and it moves in perfect position for you. I'm going to press the home button. So I feel like it's really clear now at this point that I've done the second section, you can see that the curls with the one and a quarter inch barrel are longer. And then the curls here on the one inch are definitely a lot tighter. I'm going to run my fingers through both when we're done. So both of them are going to change and give more of that beachy wave. But at this point, I think you can really clearly tell, you know, what kind of curl each iron is going to give. So it kind of helps you decide, you know, which size might be best for you. I typically use a one and a quarter inch, but I did do this. I actually filmed this video yesterday, but my audio was off. So I'm refilming it. So I already know, you know, how the hair is going to look and I was really surprised that I really love the one inch barrel. I always thought one inch would be too small for me, but I love the look. It's a different look, um, but I really like it. So let's go and do the next section. So I've curled all the hair. I haven't brushed through or run my fingers through it all, which is something that I always do that gives it a softer look. But I wanted to make sure you guys could see the difference in the curl sizes before I did that. So it's very clear that the one and a quarter inch gives noticeably kind of larger, um, kind of longer curls, whereas the one inch gives a little bit of a tighter curl. Now, uh, what I like to do is I like to wait until my hair has cooled, until the curls have had time to kind of set and cool and they're no longer hot. And then I will just start with running my fingers through. Um, depending on how clean or how dirty my hair is, um, I may add oils or other styling products to it. My hair is pretty clean today. I actually washed it last night and just slept with it wet. 
So it's pretty clean. I didn't exercise today, so it's not freshly washed, but it says it's as clean as dirty hair. It's as clean as one day old hair can be. So I'm just gonna kind of run my fingers through um, and show you guys how these curls break up and look. You can also take like a wide tooth comb if you want to kind of soften the curls a little bit more if you want more of that wave and more of um, a little bit more separation. So it doesn't look so styled, but more just like an effortless wave. You can see what the comb does to this side of the hair. Oh, that's so pretty. See, I love that. It's just like this natural wave to the hair. So what do you guys think? Do you have a side that you like more than the other? I thought for sure it would be like a clear winner would be the one in a quarter inch barrel because that's what I've always used. But I'm glad I did this video because I've always thought a one inch would be too small for me, but I like the look. I like this real PC textured kind of tighter wave look. It still looks very beachy to me when you run your fingers through it but it's just a little bit more defined than this. And it would be interesting to see next day how these curls look. They're obviously gonna look a little bit more relaxed. So maybe by tomorrow, this side will look a little bit more like this side, I don't know. I love these both though. These are great, great curling irons, especially if you are new to curling your hair and you're finding it difficult to use a traditional curling iron. Um, I do have a 20% promo code that I mentioned in the uh, intro of this video. It is Lisa20, so that gets you 20% off their website. I'll have these products listed in linked in the description box for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.